Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. Today I wanted to share something with you that I found very uh, beneficial for me. It's mer how do you merge multiple measures into one bar? I know that's a little difficult. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. While you're watching, please subscribe, please like, please leave comments, and check out my Patreon account. So here's the data source. You got brand type and here's uh, proprietary dollars, propi uh, customer features, various elements to build up the price. And they're all in different columns, which it makes it very difficult to create uh, breakdown charts. Here's what I'm talking about. I want to bring over, I'm going to bring over the third party, actually going to make that a bar. And now I want to tack on customer features, other and price, and you can come up with other proprietary as well. But they're not stacked up. They're all different uh, sections or panes. And that's not what I want. So what I want to do is I'm actually going to bring over measure values, going to bring that under columns. And then I'm going to get rid of all these other items, delete those. And you're going to bring over measure names to color. And there you go. I've got each of the measures on one bar, and you can see the breakdown. The thing, this also works with area charts, which is where I first discovered how to use it. I'm going to bring the, the brand and type. Sorry about that squeaking. I'm uh, in a different location, so I can't bring the type over. So there's some things going on upstairs. So we're going to bring over the measure values under the rows. I'm going to change this to area, and that's not what we want. No, it actually is what we want. So then we bring the measure names under details, and you, uh, not details, color, and you get the different color. And as you're going through here, you, you'll see that we don't want the price because the price is a total of all the components. It has a component count. Just like any time you bring over measure values or measure names, you're going to need to go and do the measure names filter. Um, but there you go. There you have a breakdown. If you had it by time instead of by type, it would get you really what you're looking for. Is a, I've called, heard it called a sand chart or build-up chart. So check that out. If you want to use your own data, let me know. Check out my Patreon account. I'd love to help you out. You could also use edit feed filter or show the filter, actually. And then you can go through and you can check to see which ones check or unselect which ones you want included. There you go. I thought it was pretty helpful. I hope you find it helpful. Can use it in your projects. Talk to you later.